Lick a legend here. It's Wednesday morning. It's still frightfully cold, but as I told somebody yesterday, I'd much rather have this cold than earthquakes of San, of San Francisco and California or tornadoes of the Midwest. Uh, today, it occurred to me yesterday, or for a little while now, that the seltzer category is getting out of control. Bud Light just released their new seltzers last week. Um, and this whole seltzer thing actually started with one man. This guy, and I can't think of the name of it right now, it's escaping me, but he was, uh, he's a beer, he was a beer maker, and he was sitting in a bar one day, and he's watching these females order vodka sodas one after the other. And he says, I could do something like that. And Spike Seltzer was born. Now, originally, when I first heard of Spike Seltzer, I was like, yeah, I don't see it. I don't see it. And at the time, it was slow moving. Uh, eventually, it gained sales. It started to get a reputation. And then Budweiser, Amheuser-Busch, bought it. As Amheuser-Busch does with everything else. If you can't beat it, buy it. So once they did, then you started to see these seltzers. Now, of course, any liquor store, for the most part, is going to have almost a complete door. If not, two doors with the amount of stuff that's hitting the market. Truly, Crooked Maker, uh, Natty Seltzers, Schmirnoff Seltzers. I mean, the list goes on and on. Now, it's not the same as the spirit-based drinks that you see now. Loyal's, Fisher Island, all that. Those are spirit-based. Seltzers, in general, are um, they're made from sugar cane. So they're uh, alcoholic sugar cane. I forget. Again, it's Wednesday morning. I'm not trying to think too much. Uh, and originally, my thought was always that seltzers were a low-calorie alternative to drinking. Now, that doesn't hold true if you're a person that's drinking White Claws or Trulies because they're low-calorie, but you drink a 12-pack in one sitting. You pretty much are um, above the point of health consciousness. But I do think people like the taste of it they like the less sugar um spike seltzer they changed their formula they lowered the alcohol content they lowered the flavor and they've killed the brand now i hear they're reformulated again shouldn't have made the first session should have left it alone um and now you got every ranges now you have the high alcohol calorie ones so natty seltzers are six percent svetka seltzers are six percent um four loco seltzers 12%. Now, I tried the black cherry, and I'm not in, personally, I don't like all that alcohol. Um, I drink seltzers regularly. I think that the Polar's version, which is Arctic Summer, tastes exactly like Polar seltzers. Now, I'm not, I'm not suggesting people drink in public, but if I grabbed an Arctic Summer raspberry lime and put it in a Polar raspberry lime bottle, you could not tell the difference. You will not smell the difference. You will not taste the difference. Again, if I want to go to the beach and I want to have a couple of drinks, that is exactly what I would do. That's the stuff I would bring. But you can do it with any of the seltzers. If they look clear, you put it in the seltzer body, you're not going to tell the difference. Um, and of course, John Taffert of Bar Rescue uh, announced last year, of third quarter of last year, that he was releasing seltzers and he was unimpressed by the flavors offered. Then you mention, well, our first flavor is gonna be strawberry basil. John, there's nothing interesting about strawberry basil. If that is your first interesting flavor, I think your seltzers are probably gonna die on the vine. Um, but it's out of control. I had to move Crooked Maker, I had to move another one to fit the Bud Light seltzers. But, you have to go with the seltzers that make you the most money. So Bud Light, truly White Claw. Now, of course, I have a thousand square foot cooler and that gives me the availability to put things inside the cooler that I don't have on the doors to have more of a selection. So I obviously have double the amount of seltzers that most stores have and cold. All my beers cold. I keep some 30 packs out. Um, but predominantly, everything I have is cold. Everybody wants cold beer. 
They don't want one beer. <laughs> Not to attack you know who. But when you have a small store and you're getting crap beers and you put it on a warm shelf, not a smart idea. You pretty much are not even, you shouldn't even have them in the first place if they're just going to be on a warm shelf. They're not going to sell. Just saying, you know who. But anyways, so the seltzers are exploding. um, And I think that for the time being, it's going to remain a top dog until something else comes out. I think the next big craze will be coffee because you're starting to see more of that. Brown Bombers, Paps just released their coffee, which I'll be doing a video on um, pretty soon. And I'm working, I've got the samples for Bud Light Seltzers. So what we'll be working, excuse me, I will be working on a video for that as well, my taste test video um, to tell you how they stack up. Uh, But that'll be coming. But yeah, seltzers are a huge thing. And for the time being, it's gonna take over the market. But eventually, like all bubbles, they're going to burst. And once they do, who will remain on top? Now, White Claw definitely has the top spot, followed by Truly. And I believe Truly is Sam Adams. Um, But Bud Light is a name that everybody knows. And I do like the fact that one of Bud Amheinzer-Busch's taglines now with this new seltzer is, if you don't drink beer, drink seltzer. Smart. I will give them that. I mean, shit, they got the millions and billions of dollars. I'm pretty sure that costs a hefty amount to come up with, right? And you think, ah, oh, I could have thought of that. No, you could um, So, I don't know. We'll see. I will have the video out pretty soon on the Bud Light Seltzers. We'll, we'll add them up. I personally like the Arctic Summer Seltzers. I think they're fantastic. Um, Trulies are okay. White Claws are okay. I mean, it's, it's all light. It's all style that I like to drink anyways because I drink seltzers naturally Um, so we're gonna see when will the bubble burst and when will White Claw be overtaken and will it be by Bud Light Seltzer that's gonna be something for the books if it happens so we'll see Uh, and that's all I got for you today this is the liquor legend (laughs) stay thirsty my friends